What's going on guys, it's OmniArk and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about two major problems that Black Ops 4 is currently facing. Now real quick before I jump into it, I actually have been sick the past like two weeks. Really what that means is I was sick for like three days and then the whole time since then I've been trying to recover my voice and it's been really really difficult even to go to work, even to do much of anything. Uh, so when I'm actually at home I didn't want to record a video because I've been trying to get it to heal as fast as possible. It's still a little bit iffy when I'm a little bit louder like I am now but it's it should be pretty good. You might not even notice any difference right now. So I just want to let you guys know that's why I haven't been uploading videos on top of the fact that Black Ops 4 actually has been having some issues lately that we're going to be talking about in this video um, that really have been kind of bumming me out about the game. Now I have to preface this by saying I am enjoying Black Ops 4. I think it's the best Call of Duty that we've had in years. I will say that I think Black Ops 3 was better, um, which seems to not be the opinion of my audience because of what I, I, I ran a poll on Twitter. You guys seem to prefer Black Ops 4 more. Regardless, um, I do really enjoy enjoy the game and I have to say that before I get into the things that uh, some of the problems that is having because every time I make a video cr uh, criticizing Call of Duty there's always at least one person who comments and just says well uh, it's actually because you're trash at the game tbh and I'm just like dude that's that's not it I've been playing this game for like 10 years now I've played so many Call of Duties I enjoy the games especially this one more than the past two years of Call of Duty um, it's not that it's not that I'm terrible like again I'm not the best player in the world but I'm definitely above average and these problems really have nothing to do with that so the first issue that I want to talk Talk about is gun balancing in multiplayer on October 30th we saw the first multiplayer patch that kind of balanced the guns quote-unquote balanced the guns and the problem with this patch is that it effectively did nothing to the game and by that I mean assault rifles are still so much more dominant and so much better than all of the other tiers of weapons that the changes that they made were so insignificant that nothing has actually changed now this isn't just my opinion drifter even made a video I'm gonna try and link that down in the description in case I forget uh, but he essentially compared all of this all of the stats of the assault rifles to all of the stats of the submachine guns and he found out on average that the time to kill for assault rifles at close range across the board is simply better than the submachine guns no matter what this means that there's no range in this game where it makes sense to be using a submachine gun and that's why you see everybody running around with the icr the vapor and the maddox because those are the three guns that you're going to do the best with at every single range they do well long range they do good medium range and they're the best when it comes to close range engagements they are better than submachine guns at submachine guns own game so again that's not an opinion statistically you're better off having an ICR in your hands at close range than you are having something like the GKS like just any submachine gun it doesn't matter the only exception is maybe the SOG the SOG seems to be the best submachine gun at the moment but even still you're probably better off having the Maddox instead of the SOG so it doesn't even really make that much of a difference there's still an assault rifle that is better at being close range than all the submachine guns and Treyarch had like two weeks of data for them to go through in order to make the changes necessary to balance out the game and instead they made slight tweaks that really didn't do that much all they did was they reduced the ADS move speed for assault rifles barely they slightly reduced the aim down sights time um, for assault rifles again barely minor nerfs to the ICR and the vapor and minor buffs to the MX-9 and the cordite but on top of that we actually saw the high caliber attachment was nerfed pretty much across the board which had an effect on the MX-9 so in essence the MX-9 MX got a slight buff and then a slight nerf at the same time we saw the cordite get a little bit of a range buff but then its operator mod was nerfed at the same same time which is really the only reason you would use the cordite to begin with the GKS got a straight nerf to its burst attachment and the saw got a straight nerf to its dual wield ability so we're looking at an update where they had two weeks to look at the data for the game they had two weeks to see gun win rates gun use rates and instead of buffing the submachine guns they went ahead and tweaked the assault rifles they tweaked these submachine guns and then nerfed some of the submachine guns at the same time like how are you going to nerf anything on a submachine gun when no one's even using them anyway it doesn't make any sense the guns are terrible as it is 
why would you nerf them now we're literally never gonna touch them like yes we got the mx9 and the cordate got a slight slight range buff uh but that has nothing to do with the time to kill necessarily and it also has nothing to do with the recoil that you're going to be facing up against something like the icr or the vapor or even the maddox at medium range i dare you to use the cordite medium range against an icr or vapor or a maddox it's just not gonna happen regardless of the slight range buff that it got especially with the operator mod nerf there's just, it's just not gonna happen so with a majority of the lines of sight in this game being medium to long range and really being punished for being close range with a submachine gun there's no point in using them and still no matter what Treyarch still looked at that data and made the decision to do literally nothing about it I mean if we're being honest most of the submachine guns got at just as much of a nerf as the ICR in the vapor did on top of that they basically nerfed the tactile rifles as well and they nerfed the LMGs the only thing safe here was the sniper rifles the sniper rifles got a little bit of a buff but regardless that is pretty much it and the part that bugs me the most is that this was the absolute opposite of not only what the game needed to be fun but what the community was asking for to begin with in a game where everybody is running stim shot and it takes six seven eight nine bullets to kill somebody if you put all your bullets in them they have a sliver of health left and they run around the corner stim shot immediately have full health jump back around now you have to use the rest of your magazine in a second gunfight that's longer than the average call of duty gunfight now we're talking about a gunfight that's three to four times longer than every other call of duty in history not only because of the larger health but because of stim shot so in a game where a gunfight is gonna last like 30 seconds they went ahead and nerfed everything in the game they basically nerfed everything a little bit like in what world would you nerf all the guns where everybody in the community is saying hey time to kill is uh really high time to kill is really high hey the submachine guns actually are useless like they are literally they have no dominant range in this game there's no reason to run a submachine gun in this game hey treyarch can you maybe fix that can you maybe look at that after all is said and done after everybody in the community came to consensus and came to agreement and said hey the submachine guns need a buff don't nerf the ars because that's going to make time to kill even longer they went ahead and ignored what the community said and made the most minor random changes to things like tactical rifles and, and light machine guns no one's even using those weapons it doesn't even matter you have to address the primary problem before you go ahead and tweak something like the lmgs seriously less than one percent of the game is using an lmg so nobody cares that maybe one of them is overpowered if you camp in a corner it doesn't doesn't matter no one's using it fix the primary problem first and then go ahead and fix the other things I mean seriously that's like getting hit by a car realizing that your legs are broken and that your phone has been smashed and you go ahead and fix your phone first before you go to the hospital for your legs it makes no difference you have a bigger problem at hand yes your phone is broken and it needs to be fixed but your legs are are broken too Treyarch completely missed the ball with this patch and it's really frustrating because it seems like they took the position of either a we're going to cater to the people crying on reddit which is primarily pc users which is not the majority of the call of duty fan base or b they were like yeah we're getting all this feedback from the community but we're gonna just go ahead and go with the data instead and they kind of took like this pompous asshole approach to it where they just ignored the entire community and released a random update that fixed none of the problems that multiplayer was facing to begin with and that really bums me out for the future of this game because if this continues if we keep seeing these nerfs in random places the game is not really going to change and i'm not going to want to play it come february and that's not the game that i want black ops 4 has so much potential and has so much life in it uh that that is there and i want it to be good i want it to be a game to play all year but if treyarch's going to release updates like this that completely miss the mark they absolutely failed to really do their job i mean the the team is is supposed to be updating the game to make it more fun and enjoyable and playable for the players especially when everybody in the community is saying what they want what they need to happen um and it's quite obvious let's be honest it's very clear that the submachine guns are underpowered i mean there's so many videos about it at this point that statistically have proven that that it's not even really just the opinion of the community it's the state of the actual game uh and treyarch went ahead and and failed to deliver i mean they really just didn't do their job very good uh, and that's a really unfortunate now the second thing that that black ops 4 is actually facing right now second biggest problem is that we have a game that needs all these balances and all these fixes i mean the game is still crashing a lot for a lot of players a lot of people on regular ps4s original ps4s they're experiencing the game crashing all the time uh there's still a lot of bugs in this game and instead of fixing 
fixing them, they went ahead and implemented a microtransaction system that is honestly probably worse for the consumer than supply drops. Yes, you heard me say that right. I would almost rather just have supply drops back in the game than this pathetic black market supply stream that we've seen because it's so unfriendly to the player and to the especially to the free-to-play player which doesn't exist because nobody got the game for free but regardless we spent sixty dollars on black ops 4 and now we have to spend two hundred dollars to get through a single season of this supply stream now i know that you can earn tiers for free and at the time of of recording this video there's actually a double tier weekend where you you earn your tiers twice as fast we don't know how often that's going to happen we don't know if that's going to be every weekend every other weekend once a month who knows but at the moment of recording this it takes about an hour of game time of in-game time per tier in order to move forward there are 200 tiers each tier costs 100 cod points which is, which is essentially a dollar um so even if you made it through halfway through this uh this supply stream which would require at least two hours of playtime every single day since the start of the season so if you missed any days you now have to play three or four hours every single day that you can get on you would still only make it halfway through the supply stream and have to spend $100 to get the rest of the supply stream. Now, the problem with this is not that you can't do it for free, right? Because I understand Activision and Treyarch want to make money. They have to make their shareholders happy. Um, so I understand that they don't want players to complete this for free. And I get that. I get that players shouldn't easily be able to get all the content for free because they have to make money. That makes sense to me. The problem is how much time you have to play to make it to make it free it's impossible there's no nobody is going to do that nobody is going to play four hours every single day season start to finish to get the entire season's worth of goods it's simply not going to happen and even halfway through getting halfway through is not going to happen the problem with this is that all of the good things are at the end of the supply stream so even if you grind your way up to a hundred and then you want to spend twenty dollars you're only going to get up to tier 120 and none of the good stuff is really until the end i mean some of the best stuff is at the back of the supply stream and moving forward we're probably going to see gun variants at the end of this supply stream we may see special camos or certain outfits and skins and such like that uh, that are going to be at the end of the supply stream so you really would have to grind or spend hundreds of dollars every season and keep in mind we're probably going to see four to eight seasons throughout this throughout black ops 4 who knows it's probably going to be like six seasons something like that somewhere in the middle um so we're talking 200 dollars times six i mean it's not going to happen even if you spend 100 times six that's still 600 dollars plus the 60 dollars at least that you invested in the game unless you can the count the the black ops pass as well which is another what 40 to 60 dollars i don't actually know so i mean really they are really trying to dig into your pocket for hundreds of dollars with this and the reason that i say supply drops might be a better option is because you can drop 20 to 30 dollars on supply drops and you might get something really really awesome with this method with the supply stream method 20 to 30 dollars is only going to push you 20 to 30 tiers uh in ahead which is most likely not going to bring you very close to the end of the supply stream simply because of how much you have to play to get there and on top of that not only did I, again i have to reiterate this black ops 4 is a game you already spent 60 dollars to obtain where if you compare this to fortnite fortnite also has the uh the, the season the battle pass on top of things that you can purchase in the shop every single day but with fortnite the skins are more valuable because you can see them while you're playing the game in black ops 4 it's a first person shooter you can't see your character unless you do an emote but in so most of the time i'd say 95 percent of the time you're not even going to see the skins that you're spending all this money on because it's a first person game so really you have to spend your money on getting maybe camos or gun variants or something like that just to appreciate what you're spending your money on and at this moment there really isn't that much of any of that again it could be coming soon in the future but i don't want to see that come unless they fix the whole supply stream thing because i don't want people to be taken advantage of and that's really what's happening here um they're putting they're going to they are currently and are going to continue to put the best things at the back of the supply stream and force consumers to spend between one and two hundred dollars just to make it all the way to the end and that's not good for you it's not good for the fan base it's not good for the player base so they need to fix that i would say at least decrease the amount of time it takes to get the supplies uh the, the tiers in half 
Um, e even still, that would be quite the grind to get it all for free. I don't think anybody would do it. You'd have to spend at least two hours a day every single day without missing a single day uh, to get everything for free. And I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think people are going to be able to do that with their job and with school and things like that. It's simply not going to happen. So at this very moment, I think supply drops would have been a better implementation than the supply stream strictly because you can't spend 20 to $30 to get something cool. But if there were supply drops, you could at least have a chance at getting something cool. And that's about it, guys. This video was actually a lot longer than I thought it would be. So I just wanted to express my opinion and my concerns for Black Ops 4 moving forward. I hope that these things get fixed very, very soon because I don't want this game to be dead by February. Please. <laughs> I, we need a good Call of Duty to last all year, and Black Ops 4 is basically our last hope. Uh, nobody really cares about what Infinity War is going to do next year because they are probably going to release Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, which is all that I'll be playing, most likely because I doubt that they can deliver anything of substance or value at this point. And then Sledgehammer, after that, has gone and shown that with World War 2, they were unable to deliver a full game that was actually fun. So. That's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a comment down below letting me know what you think about the state of Black Ops 4. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? If you think I'm right, I'd encourage you to tweet at Treyarch and make a video about this topic or just tweet my video to them. Let them know that this needs to be fixed. Both of these issues primarily are big problems facing Black Ops 4 right now, and I hope that they get fixed soon. Drop a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe if you're new around here. Smack that bell button, boy, and I will see you guys again soon. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again later. Peace.